Hey guys, back with another video. This time I'm testing the in-body image stabilization, or IBIS, of the Nikon Z6. Nikon calls it their vibration reduction. And I tested it both using the standard 35 1.8S Z series lens, which does not have lens image stabilization. There's no VR on the lens itself. It's all in the uh, sensor, they call the sensor shift. And then I also tested it on the, my only stabilized lens I have now is the 70-200 2.8. This is a G version. I don't have the latest E version, but this does have the vibration reduction. And basically I just tested it, just turning it on and off and left the vibration at normal. Just to see how it worked using the Nikon FTZ adapter made it to the Z6. So my conclusions are, you know, to see the actual vibration reduction in action, I had put it to the 200 millimeter. And the lens did most of the heavy lifting just because the, uh, the in-lens motor stabilization seemed to stabilize it better. But it did pretty good in, con in conjunction with the IBIS, or the vibration reduction. I had it set to full-time focus, so it's the uh, it's constantly focusing, just to see how that worked. Worked out pretty good. I also tried it with the 35 with the VR on, and wasn't as noticeable, just maybe because the lens is lighter and it's a wider angle. But the 70 to 200, even at the 70 millimeter, it did benefit from it. But the, at the 200, it definitely benefited from it. So in conclusion, it worked pretty good. I look forward to Nikon's latest release with the VR built into their some of their lenses. Then it'll use the full sensor shift as well as the vibration reduction. All right, guys. So here's some sample videos I shot. And hopefully that'll kind of give you an idea of the benefit of the IBIS or the... Uh, such a funny word, IBIS, IBIS, IBIS. <laughs> In-body image stabilization, or just the VR, sensor shift, vibration reduction, what have you, built into the uh, Z6, which is a first for Nikon in their mirrorless, with their mirrorless system, using the uh, PDAF, or the uh, phase detect autofocus. Mated with the older, lens and the Z adapter. It is doable, but I think the native Z lenses will do a better job because they can make them smaller because of the flange distance and all that fun stuff. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, check these out and see you next time. 70 millimeter, 70 200 28 set to 70 millimeter, both camera and lens stabilization off hand holding bracing the camera against my elbow here so no stabilization at 70 millimeter from either lens or camera body so note the space between the top and the bottom of the clock so at full frame when i use the uh, ibis so ibis on at 70 millimeter it crops in a little bit at the top and bottom as you can see from the previous frame so no lens stabilization, but the Z6's IBIS is on. Not sure if it does much here. So here, both the lens and the in-body stabilization on. So IBIS on, and the lens vibration reduction at 70 millimeter on. The lens actually does a better job in this case. 70 millimeter. Both IBIS on, IBIS on the sensor of the Z6 and the vibration reduction on the lens both turned on. This is at 200 millimeter, handheld. No image, image stabilization from the lens or the camera. So both the IBIS vibration reduction on the Z6 is off 
and the vibration reduction on the 70 to 200 at 70 millimeter is off. I mean, I'm sorry, at 200 millimeter. So I'm zoomed in at 200 millimeter here. Both stabilization off. As you can see, it kind of jumps around a little bit. I'm trying to hold as steady as I can. Now the IBIS is on on the Z6, but the vibration reduction on the lens is off. Again, you can notice the cropping between the top and the bottom. It's cropped in a little bit for the vibration. It looks like the vibration reduction takes a little while to kick in. But once it does, it does pretty good. So right now the IBIS is on, but the lens reduction is off at 200 millimeter using the FTZ adapter. So here the IBIS only. and the lens stabilization are both on. S sensor vibration reduction, IBIS on. And the lens image stabilization also on in conjunction. To this. this is what they were probably referring to the 5-axis. It's not bad. It's not jumping around as much. And this is a 200 millimeter using the FTZ adapter on the 7200-28. So, so both lens and body stabilization on. Pretty impressive. And here both the lens VR and the camera VR are both turned off. No image stabilization going on here. Trying my best to handhold it. At 200 millimeter. Okay, so the IBIS is off, so no stabilization from the Z6's onboard sensor off, and you can see there's less of a crop at the top and bottom, but the lens VR is on at 200 millimeter. Okay, both VR on the lens is on, and the VR on the IBIS is on. Pretty good, actually. So you notice the cropping in the sensor there from the IBIS. It needs extra pixels to crop in to stabilize it, but it's pretty smooth. VR on both camera and lens on. So this is they talking about the five the five axis stabilization. 200 millimeter handheld on the 7200 28. 160 at 28 at 1250 ISO. Both that vibration reductions on. Again, the 70 to 200 VR on, and the lens VR, and the IBIS in camera Z6 vibration reduction both on. So this is the 35mm Z series F 1.8S handheld with the IBIS off. No vibration reduction on the camera sensor for this shot. Again, it's a Z 35mm 1.8S on the Nikon Z6 handheld IBIS. Okay, this is with the IBIS on. The Z series 35mm F 1.8S. The sensor based image stabilization on. So IBIS on the Nikon Z6. Testing handheld the 3518S IBIS off. So at 35 millimeter, I don't think I need too much IBIS, but I just wanted to see what it does. So there's no IBIS going on here. 35 millimeter Z series F 1.8S with the IBIS on. Yeah, at 35, you really don't need much stabilization, but I just want to see what it looks like. See it crops at the top and bottom a little bit. And this is IBIS on. 